guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carly and I'm the owner of Carly's Creations. And today we're gonna work on a peekaboo tumbler with a wood grain. So we're gonna combine two different techniques to make a really cool looking cup. This is her, I just love it. Um, kinda wanna keep it, but I'm not going to, even though I want to. So um, we're gonna actually use three colors. We're gonna do a three color ombre, a peekaboo, and a wood grain. So like I said, a couple different techniques all into one tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, let me know below in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and share, um, because sharing is caring, right? And don't forget to join us on Facebook at Carly's Creations, Tumblers, and more. We have a really awesome group of people in there, very supportive, very encouraging, and we have a lot of fun. We do giveaways. I always put sneak peek on new products and new glitter colors in the group, so you guys are the first to know. Um, what's coming out. I also release group exclusive coupon codes that are only for those in the group. Um, so if you're on Facebook, come join us. We have a lot of fun. And in the meantime, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to use a 30 ounce skinny hog tumbler that's been prepped and sprayed with a deep pink. And we're going to start with our ombre. And we're going to use three different colors that are just really bright and beautiful. So I already have my epoxy mixed up here. We're going to do the epoxy method. And we're going to use McLovin, which is a beautiful raspberry, cotton candy, which is actually a color shift glitter, and Pixie, one of our new ones. And so like every epoxy method, we're just going to spread a very thin layer of epoxy on here. So you don't want your glitter to move around. You want it to be a little bit hard when you're kind of moving that epoxy around. Um, kind of work at it. That way you know you have a nice thin layer. And just make sure you got a good coverage over your whole tumbler. Um, it has been sprayed like I said and I will make sure to link that color down below for you. It's a beautiful pink and I thought it was a good base color for all of these glitters. Um, and I just I wanted to do one base color versus three so um, you get to kind of see how they all react to the same base color which is kind of fun. And so I, at the end of this, I actually ended up creating a custom mix with those three colors together and I got a really actually cool blend of colors that you will see me use in an upcoming tutorial that I have on some pens. So look out for that. All right, so now that we got our epoxy on here, we're gonna take the glove off and we're gonna go ahead and start with McLovin and we're gonna use that at the bottom. I'm gonna go in the order that you see them placed. So we're just gonna get nice good coverage right here on the bottom and we're just going to slowly work our way up with all three of these glitters kind of blending them together um, this doesn't end up being the perfect ombre but we're doing a peekaboo so i'm not too worried about it um, but just do your best don't don't overthink it don't be too hard on yourself but um these I, I absolutely love these colors together they're so bright and summery Okay, so once you have that good, oops, sorry. <laughs> once you have that good coverage on here, you're gonna tilt your cup and just start slowly kind of blending that up a little bit. Let that fall naturally up. Don't go too far um, because we need that color in the middle there. Okay, just go ahead and shake off any excess glitter that you have. Either put that to the side or dump it back into your cup, whichever is easiest for you. And then we're gonna move to our next color, which is cotton candy. And cotton candy I actually use a lot in my Northern Lights tumblers. It's a really, really pretty color and it looks very cool on black base. Um, it is a bright pink, you can see it's like a bubblegum pink, 
but when you put on a black base it almost turns to like a purplish blue it's a very very unique color and it's one of my favorites that I don't get to work with as much as I'd like but I absolutely love it so we're gonna start in the middle and I'm sorry that my hands kind of blocking the view right now it's kind of a hard angle <laughs> to really record on but I'm just tilting my cup up and just lightly tapping that cup and letting that glitter kind of naturally fall just to kind of blend with the bottom so we're gonna we're gonna tilt it back and forth and go up and down with our middle color here you can almost see at the top there how it kind of shifts to that purplish blue color it's really a cool color I highly suggest trying it Okay, so we're just going to go around the middle one more time, just make sure you get a good coverage um, to your liking, and then you can go ahead and either set that aside or dump it back into your cup. And then we're going to go ahead and move to our last color here, which is Pixie. It's one of our new spring colors that was released in our spring line, and it's just a beautiful bright orange, very awesome for summer and spring, and I just love it and want to use it on everything so um, just go ahead and go around the rim and then you're just going to work your way down just the same exact way you would in a two ombre color just obviously not all the way down that far so just go ahead and blend those colors as much as you can like i said it's not the perfect ombre but it's a peekaboo so um i didn't overthink it and over criticize myself on it so um once we get all the glitter on here we're going to let this sit for about six hours and then we're going to add a coat of epoxy and then we will be ready for our decals. All right, so our cup has the epoxy on it and we're ready for the next step. And so we're going to use these decals. I did get the file on Etsy, which I'll link below in the description for you. And I'm kind of laying them on individually. There's a lot of small pieces to this image, so I didn't really think that all the way through. <laughs> as far as like with the peekaboo, because it ends up being a lot of work, but it's okay because it comes out pretty. So you could also do a, a reverse weed on this that would work as well. So, um... I'm just going to weed out all those little pieces and then I'm going to use my little tweezers and silicone ring here just to get the last few pieces that are in there. There's not too many. And um, I did end up having to kind of go back and resize and kind of readjust the size image, but I wanted to still show you this so you can just see how this image was weeded. Alright, so I have them all ready here, and we're going to start to kind of put these on the cup. So I'm going to get my transfer tape and just put it on the image here, press down nice and hard. If you have, you know, a little credit card tool that you use to push down, you can do that too. I just use my fingers, so I think it's just all personal preference. And we're going to peel that off. We're going to start at the bottom. We're going to work our way to the top, but we're going to stagger them, so we're not going to put them all side by side. I'm going to put just a couple on the bottom and then you'll kind of see how I um, almost do like a window effect with the images um, just kind of going all the way up the cup and once I started to get these on I actually kind of really like the color the yellow the vinyl on here um, so it was a little hard to spray paint over this I kind of like that bright color combination we had going on but um, yeah so you can just kind of see how these are all staggered um, and all the way up the cup.
All right, so this is the part here we're gonna put just right in between those two middle ones and up a little bit. So this is what I was talking about when I said the window effect. Um, we use that term a lot when I was dancing and I don't know if it's used in the Tumblr world, but I'm going to use it. So we are going to do, excuse me, a window effect with um, these images here. So I'll show you another one and then you're just gonna keep doing that until you get all the way to the top of the cup there. Okay, and so once you get all of your images on your cup, we're going to take it outside and I'm just going to spray paint it a flat white paint and then we'll be back. Okay, so we're sprayed and ready to go. We're going to use some alcohol ink. I'm going to use the color teakwood and we're going to use our chip brush here that um, I've used. Obviously, you can see on a couple of tumblers already. And I'm just going to work little by little. I'm going to drip a little bit of paint on there. Paint, excuse me, alcohol ink. And I'm going to just brush up and down. And the way that I do it is I keep brushing up and down until the ink dries. And what that does, or what I have found that it does, is it creates um, lines to look similar to a wood grain. So is it perfect? No. But this is what I found that works for me. Um, in my wood grains so I just keep rubbing up and down up and down until it dries and then once it dries then I go back and do the same thing again so we're just gonna keep doing this uh, all the way around the cup until we get full coverage here and you can see the little box in the back I often get asked questions as far as like how do I store my glitter how do I store my molds how do I store this how do I keep this so this is how I store my alcohol inks. So I just have this little box that was one of those things that's cute that you don't want to get rid of but you don't know what to use it for. So I have all of my inks just in this box here and then I just keep it on the shelf in my office. So that's how I store my alcohol inks um, in case you were wondering <laughs> so what that is. So that's what that is. So again, just keep going around the cup till you get that full coverage.
All right, so we've done the whole cup, so now we're just going to do the bottom, and I just do the same thing, and I just I put very little on the bottom because I don't want it to drip over to the side, but same exact technique that we just did all around the cup, we're just going to do the same thing on the bottom. So the last step here is I let the ink dry for a little bit and then I kind of go back and just make sure I don't have any white spots or spots that I've missed and then I kind of layer the ink. Um, so I'm using the same color, the teak wood, but because it's dry and I'm adding more on there, it will create different shades if that makes sense. So I don't do too much, I just kind of go around to where you know it might need a little love here and there and just add a little bit more and then we are ready to take off our decals. Okay y'all, I'm not going to lie, this part is very tedious because this particular image isn't necessarily one whole image, so there's a lot of little pieces around the image itself. So this weeding process probably took me about an hour, if I'm being honest, so obviously no I did not record that entire hour of sitting here, but I did record some, so you can kind of see here at the bottom how I'm just kind of pulling it up. Be very, very careful not to let your knife slip, which I know is almost an impossible thing. Mine slipped a few times, but nothing crazy happened to the cup, luckily. So um, usually when it slips, it'll slip on the vinyl, fortunately, <laughs> and then it peels right off so you don't notice it. But um, again, this was a very tedious process, so um, I'll show you a little bit here, and then I'll show you the next clip where... I'm weeding at the top and you can kind of see those brighter colors come through and I did speed that part up just for time's sake for the video but just so you can see it.
Okay, so we, you can see we are so close. <laughs> Um, I didn't lie. It's a tedious process. So we're going to finish this up. I'm going to let my cup sit completely unsturbed for 24 hours and let that ink fully dry. I am not going to seal this. I'm just going to let it sit and then we're ready for epoxy. All right, so we made it to our final step here. It has been sitting for 24 hours. The ink is nice and dry. And so our last step is just to add that coat of epoxy. So I'm gonna use the Counter Culture brand. I just find that it really gives a nice glass finish to my cups. So I'm really enjoying that epoxy. And we're gonna do the same as we always do. We're gonna let this spin for you know 10 to 12 hours, uh, depending on the temperature of your room, obviously and then we'll be all set. So that was our last step. We're not gonna add any vinyl or anything to this because there's already a lot going on on the cup that I feel like it would just overcrowd it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions and this was a really fun cup to do and kind of branched me out a little bit, um, something different. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next video.